Uh, this is one of my favorite ones, is their I am statements. I am statements are so incredibly powerful because they can, they can determine your interest very, very quickly. And in order for me to go for over a decade into a mental unwell space, I had to have the identity of I am anxious, I am depressed, I'm a loser. I was voted the most likely to fail in the class of 66. Not true, but that, that kind of opinion, you know. I fail at everything I do. I never complete anything. They were all I am statements, all of them. In order to get myself out of that hole, I had to look for better I am statements. Right? They don't need to be extraordinary, but they can be. I am powerful. I'm articulate. I am cool. I am good. I'm a great walker. I'm a great walker. Did you notice that? I'm pretty good at it, right? I'm I didn't genius. fall down once. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so By the way, notice that they don't necessarily have to be true. true. You don't have to actually believe it right yeah. now. It's more about thinking, how would I like to show up? You know, I would like to show up as sort of calm and in control. Okay, I am, I am calm, calm and in control. Even if there's a little voice going, no, you're not. Just ignore that for now and we're going to practice writing down, I am what you would like to be. Yeah? Yeah. Get it? So just throw it in. Just throw it in. And if one negative one that you consider judge as negative comes in, just write it down and move on. Don't make an issue of it. That's okay because we're everything, aren't we? You know, when a person says, I am anxious, that's not actually always true. Have you ever been with a person that is really depressed and they're at the party and they're having a ball? I have. So no one is everything all the time. It's just sometimes the self-talk that we keep running is not very healthy. So this one is good for that. Changing the self-talk to something that we want to craft. So in this case, we're taking ownership, we're taking mastery of our self-talk, and we start educating our brain to serve us, not to have mastery over us. Got it? Go. This is one of my. This go. is my favorite. I am peaceful. I am I'm creative. I am good with plans. <laughs> I am busting. Yeah. <laughs> I am doing something <laughs> about it. <laughs> I'm a problem solver. I am good at taking action. I get the job done. So wherever you are, that's fine. Who, who, who found this one addictive? <laughs> it's a bit addictive, isn't it? How does it? How? How, what's going on? What's happening on the inside? What are you noticing? Better self-esteem, right? There, w there it was. <laughs> Go and figure that one out. How many people have you met that want better self-esteem and they're looking externally for it? It's the self-talk, isn't it? What else did you notice? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Darren? Yeah? Right. And what's the feeling around that? It's good, isn't it? Mm. L look, the world will be quite happy. We're being bombarded every single day trying to make us feel like we lack something. You have to counteract it at some point. The whole advertising media around us is designed to make you feel like you need something and if you don't have it, you're incomplete. And you're getting thousands of those messages every single day. So unless you don't do that damage, what's going to happen? Right? We are being attacked. Our self-esteem, our beingness is being attacked on a, on a daily basis. So this is a pretty cool exercise. Yeah? And I very like nice what Joe said as well about it's that in order to write it down, you have to visualize it, even just Not momentarily. Good. Yeah, so you have this projection in your mind of, oh, that's what it looks like to be creative, cool, calm, collected, peaceful, kind, whatever it is. And that carries through. You know, they, athletes use that technique. I'll visualize myself running the race perfectly, and it makes a difference. Uh, people in hospital who've lost use of their legs, for example, one of the exercises they do is visualize myself walking again because we know that it actually moves the tiniest little micro muscles in your body when you visualize something in your mind. Did you know that? There's actually a physical movement happening. 
So very if, if that, that and they've done prediction. studies around this. So if I were to say to you, imagine yourself, right, um, getting up out of your chair and walking to the door and just pushing the door and walking into the lobby. Everyone in this room, their body just reacted and they, they, they uh, at some level, every single muscle in their body reacted with the movements, the imagination of walking there. The muscles needed to do that activity were just activated. And lit up. It's interesting, isn't it? So the I am statement is very, very powerful. It creates n new neural pathways that will make it more like, if you keep doing it, it will make it, make it very likely that you will end up that person. Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week, so when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.